YouTube, what is good? I'm here. Um, today is Friday. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like shit. I felt like shit since I got back from Florida, pretty much. I woke up Monday really, really sick. Um, honestly thought I had COVID, couldn't eat. Um, couldn't really breathe. Like, I just really felt sick. And thought I had COVID tested uh, three times. Negative each time, so I don't have COVID. Um, I'm just really stuffed up, irritable, and, uh, you know, just, just sick, man. I'm, like, really bad when I get sick I get I get sick and it, you know kind of knocks me out for a few days so even though I've technically been knocked out a few days I've, I've, I've been putting in work I've been doing drafts I've been doing content I'm still working on the video for the cash out in Orlando that I did um, it's going to be like two hours long I'm hoping to get that out Sunday then I have more content to work on for just the trip aspect of it um, I'm already sweating and I just got here and uh, that's kind of how my days have been going I'm just like sweating drinking a lot of water just feeling like crap um again got tested not sick i gotta get to work so that's what i'm gonna do hopefully i can film today but honestly again i don't know if you can tell i feel like shit i sound like shit so i don't want to be on camera but i'm gonna try to thug it out for you guys and get some type of content for the day friday we got some sales here as you guys can see a couple shirts magic probably best thing here gotta be the great fives in my opinion or those kgs just because i paid five for them with the flea and we sold them for like 40 ships so you know that's always fun this jersey is really sweet obviously the bone easies i feel like those might start selling when the summer comes because that's just a very clean shoe to step out with these crossover irisons i felt like would never sell for the price that we had them at because it was high, but they are really rare, so those finally sold. Then we got these two action figures that are going to the same person, so shouts to him. Bread toes, shouts to Will, because he's grabbing the bread toes and a couple shirts, so yeah, man. Anything for the people? I'd be feeling like you in a jersey sell, man. That's not, I think that's, I'm not gonna lie, like that's- When you list a shirt or a jersey and it sells, right? I think yeah. like right now, like a shoe sell is is, is great. Because that's regular, yeah, that's regular, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jersey, like a jersey and the toy sales right now- No, 100%. Like they're out right there for That's me where it is. Because we've been talking about like just moving shit and a lot of shit just sit in and like- Yeah. Because in reality, we probably had that NWO shirt sitting there for like four or five months. Exactly. Same with the ASSC and the Supreme. Right. And it's also, what is also cool is like I said earlier before you got here, like, both Supreme shirts are going overseas to the same person. So they're paying higher than we charge. You know, they, they're paying our price plus customs and all that. Shit. And they're comfortable with that because they want the item. Um, and then we got a couple. What's up? We got a couple sales via DM. Um, the, the Team Reds. What's up? And I think that might have been it via DM. But yeah, we're going to get all this stuff packed up and see what happens today. All right, we got two sales that just came in. Here we got the Bread 9. Now, if you guys remember this release, we, you know, if you want to talk about hood favorites, this this shoe, everyone wanted this sneaker back when it came out. It was super, like, from what I remember, off the bat, it was going for, like, 400 or 350 400 Definitely a sneaker that's harder to find brand new, and if you find it brand new, you're paying, like, four or 500 bucks. This pair sold for a little over two ships, size 11 and a half, also a very rare size. Next up, we got this Sprite Air Max 98 U's. We only sold these for about 100 ships, so I'm happy about that outcome. What am I working on right now? I'm working on my video, the Sneaker Sesh Orlando video. Super excited about this video because it's a really good video. And for some reason, my GoPro point of view first person videos at sneaker shows do really well. So this one's really crazy. It's about two hours long. This is my like final not my final probably my second to final run through of the video again i've been like really sick and i'm getting better i don't know if you can hear it but um at this point you know it, it's been tough for me to do work because obviously when you're sick uh doing work is tough but it doesn't matter there's you know i gotta make the donuts obviously so to do that i gotta continue to do work thankfully the guys have been holding it down i've been taking a lot of mucinex and uh, i haven't really been in the store much kind of just like in the mornings i come in i help out with what we got to do then i kind of help close at night uh today gary left a little early so i'm just chilling at the office finishing this video i want to do a couple more run throughs of it just to make sure everything is, is perfect how i like it um that's usually my process 
you know, I cut it up. I make sure to have it to like my liking, I guess. But then obviously I run through it like a bunch of times to make sure everything's good. So that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully everything's going to like be cope aesthetic. I'm really excited to drop this. I think we're going to drop it on Sunday. Hopefully it's going to be crazy, man. It's literally a movie and uh, I'm excited to get it finished up. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then we'll go from there. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm stressed. Me and Evan just moved a ton of stuff around. Um, honestly, one of the best finds at the flea market today was this rack. As you can see, we're already utilizing it. It's like a double rack. So we moved two racks from here and we're using one. But uh, what I'm stressed out about the most is this two hour long crazy video from Sneaker Sesh Orlando. Uh, I can't export it in 1080p. So I'm nervous, but thankfully I got it in 720p. I'm about to go to the store right now. We're gonna see how it looks on the you know screen. But like I don't want to put it out if I can possibly figure out how to do 1080p. So let's see what how it looks. Like a part of me feels like I don't want to, like if we can get it in 1080, because I looked at the difference online, it does look a little fuzzier. But we'll see how it looks. Two hours and ten minutes. Damn, that's far. What's that? Sweet jacket. Nice, that's just sweet. Take a little more. You want some that too? Yeah, yeah. All right. What were you looking for for this stuff? Um, honestly, I was trying to make a trade towards some type of shoes. I want to leave because I'm What, too fuzzy? Oh, what? No! Hold on, hold on. It's a little... Uh, Kevin is, uh... was there earlier. Bro, like, does it look? I can't tell. But again, I don't want to drop it if we can figure out how to get in 1080. No, that's good. The only way you get in 1080 is... Just cut it down. So there's a part at the end of it where we're in the truck chilling and shit. Maybe if I cut that out... And just go to like the peace out guys, you know what I mean? I don't know. Hello? My name is Gary. May I have your first and last name, please? Much good afternoon. I see you opened this account 13 years ago. Thank you for your loyalty. What can I resolve for you today? So I'm having an issue with a chargeback um, for an item that went through authenticity guarantee. Um, well, uh, maybe you can give me some more specific information, like do you have uh, the order number of the transaction? Yeah, of course, I got you. Um, the reason I'm calling about it is because obviously I can go forth and, uh, you know, put in that uh, the tracking number and all that stuff, but just because it's a big money item, I just want to make sure and reach out to you guys, obviously, because it was authenticated and it was marked as delivered. Um, so, I, you know, obviously I felt like if I called in right away, you guys will see that and um, stop the charge back or at least cover me because obviously I should be self protected. Uh, the order number is 021. Thank you very much. Uh, this is regarding the new uh, Nike Air uh, Jordan 1. Hello, Travis, just a moment. Please let me take a look here. Thank you. Well, uh, for this one, as much as I want to assist you, as of this moment, it would be much better if I already transfer you to my teammates who could better answer your questions. Okay, please stay on the line. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I have a Jennifer from our payment dispute department and she will assist you further. So both of you have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi, Aaron. I'm Jennifer from payment department. How are you today? Uh, I'm all right. Let me this. And after that, you are going to be protect for us. It, it doesn't matter what is the decision that has the bank institution. We are going to protect you as a seller because you have done all the correct Nothing things we need to mm -hmm. okay. and we need to do to do it so we can protect you yeah sure to okay. take those screenshots right now and then um handle that all righty yeah please okay perfect so and if you have any more questions uh, uh no i think you? but yeah i think i think i should be fine okay i don't thank you so much for calling anybody have a really great day you too bye-bye did the slobber go away? I think it did. Oh. All these shoes in these bags start off. What's today? Thir Friday. Friday? Jeez, Friday. That's what we're doing. A lot of good stuff for sure. Yeah. 
All right. We got a few sales from last night that we are going to get together and then talk about. All right, we are going to check out what sold. These guys are going through right now. A lot of stuff hitting the eBay. We were, you know, closing in on 5,000 active items. That's crazy. Speaking of that's crazy. Look at the variety here of sales. I said it off camera, but Travis Scott won Fragment Lows to Vance. Are you shitting me? That's crazy. Not only that, look at these guys. Black Cats. I believe these are from 06. Still intact. Still probably wearable. They are size 12. I kind of wanted to wear them, but I got to let stuff go. Uh, infrareds. We just got those yesterday. They're already gone. Antoine Walker, champion classic jersey. He's probably sick. Hey, it is what it is. We got the Batman shirt. We got this crazy 61 home run record shirt. Eagle shirt and a magic shirt. Cool gray 11s. Those melon LeBrons. So yeah, you know, decent, decent little pack here going out. I'm not too mad about it. We're going to continue to post stuff. Obviously, when you post more things, more stuff sells. We get offers on more stuff and we can drop prices on stuff if we see stuff that is overpriced. So with that being said, let's see what happens today. Top shelf. Yes, hi, good afternoon, sorry to bother. I have a question, this is my first time going to the store. I want to sell some sneakers. I can do it, I want to be open at 12, right? Uh, yes, you can usually just stop by. We have been a little more picky lately on, on what we've been taking in, so if you want, you can tell us okay. over the phone what you have. We can let you know if we'd be interested. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, everything is size 10 that I have. Is uh, I have the Jordan 1 or Obsidian. Obsidian, okay. Um, it, it, that's okay. I have, um, uh, if you have Jordan 4, the size 10, cool gray. I have the, uh, the loyal blue. Uh, two, two, two in yellow and uh, white and fire red and black. Okay, and and those shoes are new or used? Um, I only use it when I go to the office, in the office. Okay, so they're all lightly used? Yes, yeah, you have in the box and everything. Okay, great. So you can definitely stop by the store with them. We can check them out in person and make you offers. I'm not really sure what you're looking for for them, but you know, obviously we, you know, that sounds like pretty good inventory. They are used, but we, we, you know, make you offers on them. We just have to see them in person just because they're used. 100%. Yeah, that's why I want to go. I have to. I have to be at work, but I just. I know tomorrow, I, and I, I cannot make it, but I can go today. And but you open at twelve, right? Yeah, we open at 12. We'll be here 12 to 7 today. Okay, so I'll be there at 12 then. Thank you. No Appreciate problem. It. Have a good one. Uh, DMP? No, the one that's back mm. here is brand new. So we It's got to be probably one of those. Yeah. All I, right. I think. Let's try to double check on those when we get a chance. And then uh, if, if it is one of those, I guess we'll accept the offer. Yeah, Hopefully the person we pays. Like... We got some orders getting shipped out. Here we have a pair of black metallic shouts to Chicago. They're heading there. Next up, speaking of metallic, we got these metallic black and gold ones. Only sold them for 205 shit, but it is what it is. These actually never sell for us, and you know, bad investments. Sometimes you gotta just like take what you can get and reinvest it. Here we got a DMP6 used size 10. We have a few used pairs, so I let these go for 160 shipped. Here we got this pair of LeBrons. Honestly, guys, don't wear these for basketball because your toes will hurt. Like literally, um, I've use these for basketball and it makes my toes bleed literally um other than that we got this cool doug williams i believe bucks jersey and that's about it we're gonna ship out all this stuff asap please excuse me guys i'm sitting here working i'm working on content and i'm working on putting up listings i'm working on everything i have so much to do i haven't really been able to get a lot of content today but i had to mention this because it kind of made my day today um someone came by he said he was from upstate new york in the Syracuse area and uh, long story short he said he's been subscribed since like a thousand subscribers and he watched a lot of our old content a lot of the content of me kind of building the business and he what he said was basically he literally from watching my videos ended up quitting his job taking money out of his savings with his wife opening up a power washing business and he says it's going great you know, he, he's raking in like really good money. Um, and again, the beauty of the whole thing is obviously he's working for himself and not anybody else. 
And it was just so crazy that he said that to me. And the fact that, you know, it's just like living proof that that ha that can happen. Obviously, a lot of times people will hit us up and say, hey, I started reselling sneakers. or I started um, selling T-shirts or I did an eBay business. So that's what we hear a lot. And obviously, that's great to hear as well. But when he said he, you know, quit his job and opened a power washing business, to me, um, that's incredible. So I have to shout out PJ Power Wash LLC, um, Pat from Winoda. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Winoda, Winoda, whatever it is, near uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame. PJ Power Wash LLC. Um, he stopped by. He said he was in the town for a bachelor party in AC. Stopped by, grabbed some cool gray 11s to wear down there and stuff like that. And uh, it just meant so much to me that he wanted to take the time to tell me about that. Um, you know, I would never expect that. And it's just crazy because he said it was all the older videos. You know, he said to himself, hey, if, if I can do it, he can do it. And it's 100% right. If I can do it, anyone can do it again. You just got to have that hustle and really just never quit. So as today, I'm going through eBay listings and I'm going through flea market content. I'm going through in-store content. I'm trying to figure out what I have to get done. And it's kind of like obviously tiresome stuff like that really keeps me going because it just shows me that there are people out there who really appreciate the content. And, you know, if my my content changed this guy's life to me, that means the world. And that's, you know, enough. That's all I need um when it's all said and done if i could change one person's life for the better like i'm happy with that obviously you know what i mean so it was just refreshing to hear that so i'm definitely happy about that and i had to shout him out and i'm probably going to shout him out in a top shelf tv episode as well but shout out to pj power wash llc when i you know get this house that i'm dreaming about i will hopefully hit you up for a power wash for sure man thank you so i just finished my flea market video and i have to say this one uh has potential to go viral and uh, sadly, it's because this guy in the video has an issue with me. Um, just some backstory f between me and this guy. You know, he knows I have a camera on me. He comes up to me all the time. If you watch some of my like first videos, he would come up to me. I sometimes wouldn't include the whole conversation, but he'd always just, you know, come up to me, tell me about all the cool stuff he's finding, how he beat me to this, beat me to that all that stuff so you know he's fully aware i film when i pick he's fully aware of you know me putting it on the internet i've told him i, I do youtube videos i make content I've, i told him all that you know so clearly he's upset obviously because the one video that went super viral on the channel um basically showed him kind of just being an asshole at the end of the day he was being an asshole i caught it on video he knew he was being an asshole and i guess because it went viral he got upset with me um you know, he has every right to be upset with me, I guess, if that's how he feels. But at the end of the day, I don't feel bad about it just because he knew what it was. He knew I had a camera on me. I don't hide the camera. He knew weeks before I've been filming every week I'm there. He chose to come up to me. He chose to get into the uh, conversation, into the negotiation. He chose to try to go behind my back like a snake. Again, these are things that he chose to do. Um, and it is what it is. Clearly in the video, I got a little upset because, you know, he got in my face. I told him to get the fuck out of my face. I don't want to fight anybody. I don't want to get into any issue with anybody. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm getting way too much money to fight and I'm not going to fight. But if someone's going to get in my face, I'm going to tell them to get out of my face and I'm going to step away from the situation, right? I'm not fighting anybody, but if I'm getting attacked, I'm going to fight back. If I get someone to step in my face, I'm going to tell them to get out of my face at the end of the day. So... Again, my content is real. This is These are things that I really deal with. And, you know, it's just sad that I still have to deal with people like this, you know. And it just, it just sucks. Like, as much as I'm kind of excited to put this video out because I know how YouTube works. And I know how viral videos work and what people click and what people don't click. And sadly, the truth is people do like confrontation. And as, as bad as that sounds, that's just the truth to it. And, you know, this this guy gave me confrontation. This guy gave me a, a potential viral video, just like he did the first time. Um, Again, if I was in his shoes, I guess I'd be upset too. But at the same time, if you don't want to be on video, don't get in my face. Don't approach me. You know, leave, leave the scene. You know, he bought his jersey. 
he could have left. Instead, he stayed and, and instigated and talked. I know he talks to every vendor about me and talks to everyone he can about me and how he hates me and how I'm this and I'm that. That's fine. So, good luck with that. That's all I got to say. But, you know, I just want to mention that because in the, I just finished editing the video and at the end of the video, I don't really like talk much about it. But, you know, I just want to say I don't mean any disrespect filming anyone when I make content doing what I do. Um, people are fully aware I'm filming. If they're not, they're just not looking. I mean, I'm not hiding my camera or anything like that. I'm not disrespectful to anybody. But, you know, sadly, this guy doesn't like me. And it is what it is. And I'm going to deal with it because that's how I do things. But uh, that's how the content came out. And, you know, it is what it is. Again, he knew what he was getting himself into. And if he didn't, he wasn't thinking. I made mistakes that I don't think about, but he's going to constantly make them and you're going to try to interrupt my videos and come into my face, into my personal space. That's a problem. Um, you're going to try to, you know, tiptoe into my deals. That's a problem. You're going to try to step on my toes. That's a problem. At the end of the day, it is what it is, right? We're, we're grown men. It is what it is. That That's what it is. So sadly, that's how the video came out. It's going to be crazy, hilarious uh, video. And yeah. Let's see what happens. Got a couple orders to get. First up, we got this beautiful Donovan McNabb jersey with this fire inaugural game patch on it from 2003. Obviously, basketball season just ended, so you know, people probably getting that football fever. Here we have to shout out Jeffrey. He got a pair of used dunks and this very clean pair of Soleil's used. Next up, shout out to Matthew from Iowa. He hit me up via DM inquiring about these galaxy mellows i really kind of like this sneaker and the uh, price point's really good so we're sending these out to iowa we appreciate the support there next up we got a poison green five i always call these a poison green fives but i think technically they're called the space jam fives or the pro star fives these are heading out to california i believe not really sure where they're heading because they're getting authenticated but shout out to jesse for hitting us up via dm and ordering these and then we got this cool neymar jersey heading out a lot of our soccer jerseys have been selling, so it's definitely uh, something good there happening for sure. We're going to pack up all this stuff and get it shipped out. All right, we got some stuff that's sold. Here we have Travis Scott 6's brand new green pair. I think we matched whatever going rate was on StockX slash GOAT. I think these sold for six twenty dollars shipped. Next up, we got a pair of Jordan 14's. I believe technically these are called the Candy Canes. Um, these sold for a pretty good price, I believe 165 shipped. Next up, we have an Ultra Boost, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, all the NMDs and Ultra Boost we've been selling them super cheap, and it's just crazy because back in the day, I never would have thought that I'd be selling really clean NMDs and Ultra Boost for like 40 to 100 dollars shipped. So it is pretty cool. People are getting good deals on that stuff. What's good, YouTube? Happy Saturday. There was no flea market today, which was weird. It was canceled. Hopefully people knew that or they just pulled up. Either way, this is the stuff I brought back from storage. These are a couple of shoes I brought back from my uh, storage at home, I guess you could say. As you can see by the dust, I don't even know what these would be, but they are the Sandy Cheeks, brand new size 12. Honestly, I think these are going for some money right now. And I know I paid retail for these, so that's always nice. Let's see if we sold right now. Uh, Sandy, okay, if we sold right now, size 12, let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so they're up there for 389 Honestly, I, for some reason, thought they'd be more than that, but I'm just going to match that. So once they sell, we'll get around 350 which I'll be happy with. Uh, like I said, obviously, the point of all this is to liquidate um, and make this investment into a house down payment. So that's what we're doing. That's one. Next up, I think this is another Mr. Krabs. I was big on this sneaker. I thought it was going to go up in value a lot. They are at 500 on GOAT. Not that I sold one for that price, but if I can, that'd be nice. Um, here we got an Ivory Snake Air Force One. I literally think I have a size 11 in these U. So this 11 and a half, I guess we can put up for the high if someone wants to pay it. And then we have another pair of Travis Scott Sale Air Force Ones. This pair is brand new. I definitely got those for retail at 21 Mercer back in the day. That was one of the shoes that I actually hit on the app when it came to uh, reservation and all that. 
The guys are definitely going to be in for it today when it comes to all these. But, you know, they're ready. They'll take pictures and all that. We have to fill up the case. But that's a good sign. That means all that stuff sold. So nothing wrong with that. I also got these in yesterday for myself. And after reevaluating my bank account as well as other things i'm just like eh, i don't really need these so i'll probably put these up on the ebay store they are cool but i'd rather have these you know or a second pair of those than a pair of those so that's the way i'm looking at things now i'm really trying to trim everything down to basically og colorways and stuff that i'll actually wear so hopefully today's a good day hopefully i get some footage let's see what happens so i made a little bit of a dent in the stack at least i took pictures of these three bags it is about 10 50 so i'm gonna bring this stuff to the warehouse and then hopefully the guys can get this stuff done later um, a lot of work to do today a lot of contact to work on a lot of footage to get all that type of stuff so hopefully it works out or, or if you want to you want to it's gonna be close I, I can't guarantee. all right i didn't really get footage of what sold or i wasn't able to speak about it but let me just go through the picture that i took just to talk about some stuff first off obviously the elephant in the room the band bread 2016 one that we put up last night sold right away for a thousand dollar ship shouts to that dude who hit us up via dm and copped them right away off ebay he was not pump faking uh we got some og gray toe 13s two fire fire authentic Tyler Hero jerseys that you really just don't see. Crazy Indians jacket, the Kane figure. The Mare Max ones are super crazy. Big fan of those. Nice custom Jets Nike Authentic Supreme Bike Racer shirt. Jordan 14 Cherries or Rip Hamilton's, whatever you want to call them. Instant Foam Runner. So, you know, happy about that stuff going out. These guys are dealing with a bunch of pictures. We thought Jordan had to leave early today, but I guess, uh, you know, his reservations were canceled. So uh, he's stuck here now, and we just sold a couple of things, which is always great. A couple of Yeezys at that. I feel like we just shipped out a Yeezy and then we just sold the Yeezy so that's always good. And yeah, I'm going to get back to work now. All right. We are just going to speak about this pair real quick right here because something very interesting just happened so we had a client who bought these from us a long time ago years ago it was a union one trade for off-white ones and basically he was trying to sell them somewhere else or a couple other places because right now he's not you know living in the area he dm me said all these stores are saying my shoes aren't real what's up with that etc so just some transparency on what's happening here first off this is the sneaker in question. He just pulled up. We just paid for it. Um, over $1,000, obviously, because they're in really good condition. So first off, I got to shout out the stores for, you know, not knowing their product because they missed out on a great opportunity to buy the shoe. But let's just look into why they thought the sneaker was fake. Did someone get on that, whether you all want to go to Evan right now, just to confirm it's a size 10. It has a white sticker with the box, whatever. Okay, back to the sneaker. So obviously, look, guys, this is an authentic pair, as you guys can see, down to the box, down to the laces, uh, down to the YDM sticker, as you guys can see. Some of the easiest ways for me to authenticate this pair, obviously, you can easily do it from the box, right? But we're not going to talk about the box. We're going to talk about the actual structure of the sneaker. Um, first off, all real pairs should have at least one or two of these dots next to the orange um, as you can see there's one right there as well obviously you know with the black light all that stuff works correctly the spacing on the air how the bottoms look obviously these aren't folding like a taco of course the feeling of the sneaker my favorite part or easiest way for me to automatically identify real from fake is just feeling this back area right here this back tab on a fake will never feel like a real pair it's just it's just that obvious right here if you look at the tag there should always be this little nipple these two little nipples on the end from my knowledge the fakes didn't really have the nipples there but that's always a good sign to see obviously the spacing on the ten and a half in the men's size all that stuff being correct 
the size tag, everything, of course, right? So the only thing that threw these stores off, which I was told it was three stores, was that there is orange writing on the inside of this beautiful 85 flat. And that's what, that's what threw them off. Now, again, guys, it's totally understandable for, you know, a store not to know. But in reality, that doesn't make a sneaker fake. A lot of sneakers obviously have factory flaws, defects, etc. I mean, the off-white sneaker in itself is, is a very artistic sneaker. So the fact that it had some writing on the back isn't really too crazy to me. But again, it's really good because... Now we got the sneaker, so I'm happy about that because we're probably going to make some money on it, and uh, it's probably going to sell pretty quickly for us, I'd assume, judging by the condition. Um, and as you can see here, got it. we definitely have it, right? All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to call this gentleman right back. <sighs> Finally, finishing up here. All right, last things to pack up. We got this Chicago Bulls hat. We got this USA Nike basketball sweater. We got these UNC 6s size 7 Y. Here we got these Aniki runners or Aniki runners for 40 ships. And then we got the Obsidian 13 size 10. Yeah, the other one was 9.5 half he didn't pay. All right, awesome. We're gonna get this stuff packed up, ready to go. And then hopefully get out of here a little early. Today is, um, what is today? Today's Friday. I'm here early. Today didn't start off too good. I'm dealing with a bank fraud situation. And as a business owner, this is one thing, obviously, that you deal with um, fraudulent activity. Credit card scams, check scams, bank fraud, people trying to steal, etc. Um, you know, it wasn't the biggest amount of money at all. So thank God I'm, you know, it is what it is. I'm handling it. I'm contacting my bank, obviously. I, I just, you know, I have to come on here and just say it's just so sad that people these days, you know, they don't want to work for anything. You know, everyone wants everything for free. Everyone wants to steal and rob and, and uh, try to get over on the next man. And it's just terrible. And, you know, it's always, it's always the people who dress so flashy and have like you know the stupid like expensive sling bags and talking about all the money they have and all the items they have and and in reality they're just they're just scraping scraping trying to continue to look like they like they're doing it like they're entrepreneurs like they're hustlers like they work hard like they like they grind for something but they don't they don't you know, <laughs> like, it's so funny to me, but that's just life, and it's also, it's also kind of like, you know, it's just a wake-up call for me and my guys to just stay on our, our toes and understand that that's how it is, so all the check bullshit, all the money didn't go through bullshit, all the this bullshit, that bullshit, I need more bullshit, da 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 nah. my, me, I need more, my team needs more, we deal with enough bullshit as it is. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm not going to let this ruin my day or whatnot, but it, it pisses me off more the principle of the thing. I try to help people out all the time. Um, I never, you know, try to snake nobody. I've never snaked anybody and people out here just trying to snake me every time they can. And it's just, it's just sick. It's just sick that that's the world we live in. Um, so that's what I'm dealing with. And again, it's sad that these kids are out here not understanding that y'all are risking y'all legal lives over bank fraud. You understand? Bank fraud is a felony. People don't understand that, but maybe they will. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to get to it today and hustle. doesn't really matter. Um, in my Top Shelf TV episodes and stuff like that, I've been talking about selling my personal collection. I am buying a house, and today is the inspection for that house, so I'm excited. I hope everything goes well um, I really don't know much about real estate but to my knowledge I think uh, it's a good investment 
and uh, I'm definitely hustling to put up a large amount of money for the house obviously by uh, probably July like the end of July so I got about a month time to do that so that's what I've been on doing just really really hustle hard for a month not really you know try not to buy anything well not you know it's not even buying anything for myself it's more just like trying to sell 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 accept offers like today someone on ebay offered me 280 shipped for a citroen easy um you usually i'd probably want 300 shipped at least because i know i could sell that in store for 300 or even 325 or whatever but at the end of the day 280 shipped right now you know on ebay hopefully get a potential positive feedback get a potential new client um obviously i'm getting less money than i want but i'm getting it right now making a sale moving easy out hopefully moving a new shoe in or putting that money towards the house slash obviously i have to fund the business so um i'm just looking at things differently now and it's and it's good to look at things differently and even small little things like getting scammed for like a little bit of money make you look at things still differently and in a positive way obviously i i try to take every l as a lesson and just kind of have a positive outlook on it oh here's valley bank calling me right now i made a few different calls and a few different emails i just got a response they are going to return the check today oh wow great so awesome everybody if you get a chance you know just look at your account briefly really quick every night if you possibly can just make sure nothing funky came out <laughs> yeah no 100 thank and, uh, you thank you yeah. so much for the help all right i'll keep checking today but it will go back in your account okay all right perfect thanks so much have a good weekend all right have a good one aaron thank you bye-bye bye, -bye. Let's get it. So y'all heard it. Man, obviously, because I called my bank within 24 hours of this guy trying to do some fraudulent shit, um, I was able to get it reversed. So shouts to my bank. And again, it's just sad. More the principle of the thing. It's not even the money. It's it's more just like the principles. I feel like I try to help people out and um, do the best I can for people. And just like people constantly think that they could just take advantage. But I guess that's just sadly the world that we live in these days. Again, like people want to, you know, they don't want to work for anything. Everyone thinks everything should be handed to them and, and, and they shouldn't have to hustle to live a certain lifestyle, right? Like, you know, if you want to live a certain way, you need to hustle, you need to grind, you need to, to, to make that money, work those hours to get that dough. Like instead of scamming people who do that, you know what I mean? Anyway. That's what the fuck going on today. We're printing labels right now because we have a bunch of orders. And you're going to see those orders later, so I'm not going to talk about them now, but that's what we're doing right now. All right, so we got most of the orders right here. Electro oranges, Justin Timberlake 3's just sold. Legend Blues, Mochas, Royal Toes, Lamellos, CDG Dunks, University Blue 9's. These sold, but... He put the wrong address, so we have to not ship those. Buck's taking over Ikea bag. Got some crazy items down here. The Cheryl Swoops jersey sold for the high. Berwin said you sold that to us back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. I knew that was WNBA. Right? That's crazy. Yeah, um, I guess you can call it WNBA, yep. Yeah. We also sold this Dodgers jersey, but we have to find a Red Sox jersey to go with it. Some other clothing, and yeah. We got a vacuum. What the hell's going yeah, on with all this shit? That was, like... That was a dude. Late, late night, late oh, that was Nutty, night. yeah. With the... The Come on, Nutty, what's up with that? <laughs> we got a couple more sales. Anti-Social Social Club. We got a Cardinal 3. Um, I messed up on these. I thought I sold the wrong pair, so I canceled a $1,000 sale, but hopefully it comes back in. We just got those in yesterday, which I've never seen. I think those are really cool. What's the blue called? Bavarian? Or... Uh, Valerian. Valerian, yeah, those are fire. Bucks in the, in the cut, chilling being a team player um we made a couple crazy deals we sold a mocha lo wait no Hi. mocha high travis scott a fragment low travis scott and a sean weatherspoon which is crazy uh we got in a couple things in that trade so hopefully we can put that stuff up for good value where's that one travis scott shoe yeah i guess we'll talk about these just because we didn't see this pair i know you're gonna say you don't like them well, I like them a little better now that I'm... I low-key like them. Yeah, they're not, I mean... 
I, I also think that this is a good pair. Like, there doesn't seem to be scuffs. I feel like the brown pair that I got in when I got it, I was a little upset about the scuffs on the toe. I just, you know, didn't really, like, it, it kind of upset me that I spent that much money on a shoe and it came with that. That's kind of cool, the blue hint on the tone, which I didn't realize at first. So, I mean, these are cool. This is, we got these traded in. And we also, we've, I guess we've been getting these in now because they just dropped. Not those. <laughs> the Onyx slides, which, you know, um, obviously the way the slides, uh, Onyx slides, Onyx foam runners, obviously the way the foam runners and slides do, you'd assume this would be a good shoe to have in store. But at the same time, that red one right there, we were selling them for 400 and the other day they restocked and now they're like 250 So, again, guys, if you can make money, make it. Don't worry about if a shoe's going to go up or whatnot um, because you never know. Got a bunch of stuff in. I really love when he stops by because he always sells me just like peel your stuff at a good price. So, we got these Timberland boots. We got these five on it. We got these blue brown Celtic pumps. We got a shirt. We got the flight light mids. Some blazers. <laughs> Don't even ask about those. <laughs> these brown questions and this crazy pair of Adidas. So we got all this stuff for a good value where we can sell it all pretty cheap and make a little bit of profit. All right, we have a few orders going out. This one right here I thought was up on eBay and I don't think it was so I put it back up on eBay and took a low offer on them. Again, the older Nike SB Dunk stuff like yeah, brand new, no one has them and they're going for super high but used it's and new, used and new. It's just people it's it's hard to get people to pay these crazy prices. This one is fire heading out the reversible VC jersey and then this one sold around the same time which is crazy uh, the Phoenix Suns Marbury Swingman which I actually got from a flea market so that's a great one this jersey right here um, I literally walked away from it first over like a couple of dollars and then went back and bought it and it sold for seventy dollars it's a really nice jersey um, and hopefully I could get more educated on soccer jerseys because I feel like I leave a lot of soccer jerseys behind and uh, definitely shouldn't do that this one right here is a beautiful Jason Kidd Adidas Climb a Cool jersey. I honestly, I haven't seen another one like this online, so we put it up super high for 500. Haven't really gotten any offers, and um, we got to offer 400. So this is heading to Oregon. I think a lot of jerseys head to Oregon. I don't know why exactly, but that's that. So we're going to pack up all this stuff and get it shipped out. <laughs> so we just bought a bunch of stuff i really didn't get it on film but i had to just grab this real quick so we had a client come in great client obviously sold us a bunch of stuff have these sitting in his closet i guess said they were brand new jordan said no they're not and um just now i said first off i looked at them and said they're definitely not brand new but if you guys get a good look at that this is a good way to tell if a sneaker is brand new you take the insole out and if you could see them toesies them piggies that <laughs> <laughs> it ain't not brand new so that's what's going on today and yeah let's see what else goes on that's fine yeah exactly that's what i'm saying I'm like making it go with the beat. real quick i just gotta say it's crazy that this jason kid sold and this marbury sold just because of the trade that happened with them too like that's insane what's up all right today has been crazy it's saturday i didn't really film much because i've been working 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 everyone's been working on all types of different stuff shouts to evan he's not really feeling too well he's not here so uh We've been running around trying to grab things. And this is what we got sold, or at least this is what we're packing up right now. Crazy array of packs, obviously, as you can see. Um, Space Jam 9s, Ferrari 14s, Georgetowns. We literally sold one in store and then we shipped one out, so that's crazy. The What the Kobe 7, the Dornbacher 14, Jubilees. Crazy stuff, man. I can't talk much today because I'm like in that type of mood of just trying to be done with everything. But that's um, one thing about these LeBrons is this was a series that he went against the Pistons, I think, and lost, but went crazy, right? I don't know. You guys don't remember? No. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. So, yeah, we're packing up all this stuff, and we're going to see what else happens today. Cool. All right. Today is Friday. We're starting the day off by getting all the orders ready. We also got this four-pack heading to Florida. Four pairs of light Yeezys. I've been trying to really move the Yeezys yesterday. I put up a post. So I sold those four pairs as well as a couple others. Um, we're going to see what's sold real quick. So I have another sneaker to get and I'm looking for it. It is the Del Sol 13. Size 11. 
Um, I think we took these in via trade and we're getting a decent return on them. Obviously, some of these sneakers we've taken on trade like aren't the best, obviously. So we try to get them, you know, at a, at a good value that, you know, we're not going to be losing even if we sell them at a competitive price. So like, for instance, these right here, I'd assume the value we got them in at was like 140 trade, 150 trade, whatever, even if that, maybe even less. Um, we're getting them out for 200 shipped. Not the most profit, but again, on a trade-in, for us, it works, right? So just find something that works for you, even if you know, you're flipping breaks, you're flipping hype stuff, you're flipping stuff that people aren't looking for, whatever it is, if it works for you, it works for you, regardless of, you know, what anyone says or what anyone does. So, you know, I'm gonna keep grinding and doing what works. So obviously these are going out and um, that's what's next. All right, we got two interesting items going out. First up, we got these Banasi slides, the Stussy edition, this is the black pair. These are heading to California, of course. Um, I guess, you know, I'll open them up for you guys real quick just to show you what's going on. But yeah, you know, pretty cool slide, obviously. Um, just says Stussy on them. And here we have a bread Yeezy. Yesterday I posted on the story Yeezys for the low. A lot of people hit me up. We actually ended up selling a good like five or six pairs just strictly off that post. So we're happy about it. Some pairs like this though, like we really couldn't go that much lower. We did sell this one for 380 or 385 shipped direct which is actually like way better than the apps right now i think after shipping these are at least 400 plus so uh definitely happy that we could you know make someone's day with that sale so we're going to get these two shipped out and see what else happens next up we have a couple orders going out first up we have the howard jersey adidas larry spriggs i've had this for quite some time i'm glad it finally sold it's actually a, a pretty rare jersey but you know the size and stuff like that um wasn't getting any love Speaking of not getting much love, the marinas, obviously price went down on them, but uh, since price went down on them and since we dropped the price on them, we're selling them. So same with these and Shadow 2.0s, we're just kind of pricing them about what market's at. These about 200 shipped and pairs are selling. And again, just trying to, you know, recycle right now. Obviously, if these are at 200, if we could sell them at the top of the market right now, reinvest some money, I'll be happy. So we're going to pack up these two. And this is also an 11 and a half from the personal, I figured. Hey, again, if I got Royals, I don't need these. So we're going to ship these two items out. All right. Was just talking about a Marina. And then we secure another Marina sale, this time a size 13. So I guess for the price of 200 chip, the Marinas are selling. But, you know, anything over that, they're not really moving. So, you know, the market, it did go down. But I guess you could say it kind of more adjusted to what makes more sense um, in that aspect. Anyways, we got the Tatum going out with the Kawhi. John Wall just got traded to the Clippers, and I saw something, it was like a rendition of him wearing a two jersey, and again, what's weird about the Kawhi jerseys is, I don't know, he was such a great player, obviously, and what's it, he's been out two years, right? Like, just yeah. Like a year, a year, year and, and a half. Like, year and like, maybe like, like I think a year and a three, half. Three weeks, something like that. But, you know, people forget, obviously, he is a superstar, and hopefully when he comes back, this jersey will go up in value, because I have another one. And what's also hilarious is I just finished a flea market video and in that video I bought these two jerseys from the same vendor and uh, that's just funny because literally they just both sold together. Next up we have this pair. I don't think he paid yet for them to be honest so we're going to put these aside for now. We have this size 5.5 Georgetown 3. That's always nice to sell a GS pair. We got this pair of used shadows that are going out and last but certainly not least we have one of the best LeBrons ever. Could that be said? Damn, they both looked at me crazy. I mean, it doesn't have to be top three, but it could still be one of the best. One of my favorite LeBrons ever, you can say, personally, I think. Is that a low? Huh? Is that a low? Yeah. Sprite? I mean, the, the colorway Sprite, I mean, can you do it much better than this sneaker? I don't know. All right, let's help Gary, though, because obviously we got to take all this stuff out.